Hey guys, welcome to the 41st Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue looking at the whole tool. So once you have something to drill into, just go ahead and open up the whole tool. And then go ahead and place your hole. I'm going to be using linear placement, so you just need to select a face and then two reference lines. And then once you've placed your hole, go ahead and change the hole type down here to a clearance hole. So let's just say that you needed to drill a hole for a quarter inch hex head bolt and a hex head bolt just looks like that. So let's just say you needed to drill a hole for one of these. Well, you're probably thinking a quarter inch, I can just go ahead and make the diameter of this hole a quarter inch and everything will be fine. Well, no. The size of hole needed for a quarter inch hex head bolt is actually a little bit bigger than a quarter inch. So instead of having to look up online exactly what that size is, you can just go ahead and select that from the clearance hole down here. But before we can actually do that, let's first look at this standard. And the standard is basically just your region. So ANSI stands for American National Standard Institute. And they just ensure that every quarter inch hex head bowl or half inch hex head bowl or quarter inch screw is all the same size in America. But if you're in a different country, you're going to have to look up what standard that you use and then just go ahead and change it to that. The next thing down here is the fastener type, and the fastener type is basically just what's going to be going into your hole. So if you're putting a screw in there, then select a screw, but we're going to be putting a hex head bolt into our hole, so just go ahead and change it to that. And then just go ahead and change the size to whatever size that you want to put in there. So we're actually going to be using a quarter inch, but let's just go ahead and look at the other sizes we got right here. So you can make it any one of these sizes. And as you can see, if I select 7 16 it's a little bit bigger than 7 16 Or something a little bit more obvious, like 3 4 As you can see, it's a little bit bigger than 3 4 right there. But again, we're just going to be using a quarter inch. Alright, and the last thing we have to look at is the fit. And the fit will basically just determine how snugly your fastener fits in the hole. So if you want it to fit in there very snugly, you change it to close so that will, there will be just enough room for your fastener. If you want it to be a looser hole, then just go ahead and change it to loose, but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it at normal. All right, so once you've set all this, you can just go ahead and click OK. All right, and as you can see right there, now we've got a hole that would be perfect for a quarter inch hex head bolt. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, so see you guys.